Hi everyone, welcome to another video, and I can't believe it's January 1st already, oh my god. Happy New Year guys, it's 2016, 2015 is already here and gone, and it's unreal, it really is. Wow, I can't believe it's 2016. Um, there's a lot of really good things coming out this year, um, sequels to books that I really love, like the Throne of Glass series has a new one coming out this year. Um, I know Night Study is coming out um, in like 20 days. I think it comes out the 21st. Really can't wait for that one. Um, what's another one? Uh, I think the third and I want to say final book in the Kiss of Deception. I can't remember the I want I can't remember the series is called. Uh, but I think it's only a trilogy. So I know uh, that third book I believe is coming out this year. I can't remember what's called. Uh, Kiss Deception, Her Betrayal. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I remember I really, really want to read that. I loved Kiss of Deception and Heart of, Heart of Betrayal. So, yeah, I'm really hyped for that one. But, yeah, I mean, the Shadowhunters uh, TV show is coming out this month. Uh, so many superhero movies are coming out. I can't wait for Deadpool, Civil War, Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, uh, Doctor Strange. They all look so, so good, and I am definitely hyped for them all. Video games, I don't know if you guys play video games, but I love them, and one of my favorite series is Kingdom Hearts, which is a mix of Disney and Final Fantasy, and I love it. I love it so much, and I've played one, I've played like almost all the games. The only game I really hate that I won't re that I won't really play is Reach and Memories, which is like 1.5 if you think about it. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that game at all. I hate card systems, but I love Kingdom Hearts. And the third one is coming out this year. 2.8 is coming out this year. Though if they bring out 2.8 and stall three until next year, I'm going to be really upset and I'm going to hunt somebody down. Um, I know Final Fantasy 7 is being remade for this year, I cannot wait, I am like really hyped for these, and yeah, this is going to be a fantastic year, as long as everything comes out this year as planned. So what better way to kick off the new year than to discuss my reading resolutions, my new year's resolutions. Yeah, it's January 1st guys, it's that time of year. Um, I mean, of course I have resolutions for myself, I need to get my temper, uh, intact, or, not intact, uh, I need to restrain my temper, if that makes any sense, I can't really think of a better way to say it, um, uh, I need to save money, and some of these re reading ones, reading resolutions will help me do that, so, yeah, um, I also want to exercise, I mean, these are resolutions for myself, but then I also have some reading resolutions that I want to discuss with you guys. So the first one is my Goodreads challenge, which I do every year, and this year I am reading 125 books, or at least I'm going to try to read 125 books. 25. I think I can do it. Um, uh, for 2015, I put 100, and I read 137, which was really, really good. Uh, I tr I thought about going down, and I thought about reading, or just putting down 75, so I don't put as much pressure on myself, um, which is what a lot of people are doing, which I totally uh, respect that, but it, you know, as I thought about it, I, um, I don't think I could do it. If I put, I just don't feel like I could put 75. I... I, um, I don't want to go too high. When I put 150, I only read 119. That was for 2014, I believe. So I'm not going to go too high to like 150. But I just don't think I could go as low as 75. But I also didn't want to do 100 again this year because even though every year I do 100, I read more than that, which is really good. I think I can do 125. And I think I need the pressure so I can read more books. Yeah, I don't want to get stressed into reading, but I also feel like, okay, at the end of the year, if I don't read 125 books or more, I'll, I'll be okay with it. Um, yeah, I will try and strive for that goal, but I'm not going to be totally, like, upset if I don't. Um, I won't be, like, pissed off if I don't get it. So, that's fine. 
Um, but I also just, I feel like I need it just to, for myself, I need it for myself. I, I think I can make 125, I read 137 last year, so I, I think I can do it. I'm not going to put 150, that's just too high for me, I think, for right now. But, and it's also not just novels, and I'm not going to go crazy with the big ones, uh, like Outlander, <laughs> that's, or no, I'm sorry, Outlander's right there. I also have another version of it down below. <coughs> so, I mean, I do have a few big books that I really want to pick up, but I don't have as many. And I do also have smaller books. I have manga, which is right up there, and uh, right about this, and right there. So I have quite a few manga I can pick up, and I'd be really happy with that. I also have novellas, and I also have my Kindle that I can read from that, and that'll probably go by faster as well. So, and I do try to read like two or three books at a time. So I think I could do 125. My second resolution is to shrink my TBR pile by half. If I could do that, I'd be really happy. Um, right now that I've counted, I, this is not including my Kindle because I'm not going to make that a priority this year. Um, I have 242 books unread. And now bind-ups, I know, are like three-in-ones or two-in-ones. I only count that as one. I'm not going to say, okay, that's two books. So, no, I'm not going to do it. I only count it as one because when I read a bind-up, I try to read the whole way through. At least I try to. So I get, I'm only going to count that as one. I don't think I need to count that as more than that. Um... So, I mean, again, it goes to the 125. I have, if I divide 242 books, it's 121. Um, so if I divide 242 in half, it's 121. And I want to read 125. So this will really help me to do that. The only problem I have with it is that I buy a lot more than I read. I think, yeah, mostly, I think, I go to Barnes & Noble, I tell myself I'm only picking up one, I'll pick up five. If there's a sale going on, I'll pick up more than that. So I'm trying really hard not to do that. I'm trying really hard not to pick up books that I have no interest in reading right this second. Um, I pick up, what I do, which is really bad, is that I pick up books that sound really good, but I don't read them right away. I put them on my shelf and they sit there for months and months and months, sometimes years and years. So I'm really trying not to do that anymore. So what I buy, of course, will be added to my total uh, to the 242 and what I read will be deducted, of course. <coughs> so I'm trying really hard to just go down to 150 books in total. That will make me really, really happy. So I mean, of course, I'm going to buy um, sequels to books that I really want, like Night Study and, of course, the um, the new Kiss of Deception book. I believe it comes out this year. I, I want to say it does. And the new Throne of Glass book. I will read those the minute I get them. Oh, and the sequel to Wrath of the Dawn and the sequel to Court of Thrones of Roses. I love those books. Of course I'm going to read the sequel. Um, Rose and the Dagger. Oh my god, I can't think of Court of Thrones. Oh, I can't think of it right now. But I know, I believe those come out on the same day, which is May 3rd, which I believe is the same day Rick Riordan's uh, Apollo book is coming out, I want to say, and I know the new Magnus Chase is coming out this year. So I have a lot of books that I want to buy, but those books I know, if I buy them, I'm going to read them right away. And the minute they come out, like, I did it with Winter in November 9, I got those books and I read them that, like, that day or the next day. So... I think I'm doing really well on that. So my third resolution, which is probably going to be my hardest, even harder than shaking my TBR in half, and that is to review books. I am not the best reviewer. I try. I, you know, I've, I think I filmed a review for November 9, and I posted that. I don't know if I did a really good job. Um, but I did it anyway, and I love talking about books. I love talking about books that I love. I can even review books that I didn't necessarily like as much. I want to share my opinion with you guys, and but I feel like when I read the book at the beginning of the month, and then I um, share it with you guys at the end of the month, doesn't necessarily help me because I don't really remember as much 
of what happened. I just remember my feelings for the book, which was either I really, really loved it, or not so much. <laughs> um, so last year, I went out and I bought this journal. And I got this from Barnes & Noble, and I believe there's like um, some quotes, but I can't really tell. There's some writing on it. Oh, I think it's, oh, it's, uh, I think it's books. Maybe. I mean, there's Hamlet. I see Hamlet. Uh, everything is illuminated. Maybe there's quotes. I don't know. I can't really tell what is exactly on this, and it's only on the cover, but I love it anyway. And the reason I bought this is not because of the cover, um, and not because it's just a journal. And this is more than just an ordinary journal. This is a review journal. So up here is title and an author, then date, read, uh, quotes, and the publisher, uh, notes, and then down here in this box is your opinion. So this will help me write down my reviews and hopefully be able to review books for you guys. and. Be able to express my opinion as best as I can because I'm not the best person to get my um, feelings across through words. It's not the best for me. I have some problems, and I'm not the best at you know telling you what the book is about in my own words. So if I have to, I will just end up reading the synopsis and then telling you from there. Because I try really hard not to spoil books for you guys. I'm trying really hard not to do that. And I feel like sometimes I just want to blurt out a spoiler. So if I have to, I will make a review and it will be spoiler. And then in my wrap up, I will have a free spoil. you know, it will be like free spoilery. So, <coughs> we shall see. But yeah, this I think will help me. I really, really want it to. And I think it can. So, and the best thing about this also is that there are note uh, pages in the back, just pages where you can write your notes down. So I think, you know, I can uh, start writing and then continue on in the back, which would be really, really nice. Oh, and another thing is that this is also alphabetical. Uh, over here, of course, is the alphabet, and you just go alphabetically. So if I read Anne and the French Kiss, of course I'm going to do it on the first page, but also if I read, uh, let's say, uh, Serafina. Okay, I don't know why, I just came up with that. But I will put it in the S page. So as you see, just go right to S. And yeah, I, I can, yeah, I can do this, you know, I, I can do it. There's not much space and there's not as many pages for each, um, like, alphabet letter or for each letter so I might have to go back to Barnes and Noble and buy another one if I can so but we will see if this works out this did not this was not cheap this cost me a pretty I want to say this was like 25 oh oh I did not even notice that hello oh where are you oh look at that look at that there is its very own bookmark I can get it out. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's got its own bookmark, so you can put what your last review was. Oh, it's got quite a few bookmarks. So you could put um, ones that you really liked or ones that you just wrote down, so that way it'll help you. So yeah, I mean, this should really, really work out well. I'm hoping. And I'm going to use this with almost every book. I might not use this with series as much. I don't know about that. I don't know exactly right now what I'm going to do. I know for sure, um, like, st standalone books and maybe first in a series. I, I might do it with every single book that I read. So we shall see. Alright, so, for the fourth one, that is to finish slash catch up on 5 to 10 series this year. I am doing really well with marathoning series. Uh, November and December, I started this thing where I'll pick a couple series and I'll marathon them. I chose Throne of Glass and the Poison Study. I chose uh, Heroes of Olympus and Shatter Me. I even chose the Grisha Trilogy, which I haven't uh, finished or I haven't even started on that one. I keep choosing it and then I never do. Um, but I did very well except for that. That was the only exception. 
with all the other ones, I actually ended up marathoning it and finishing it, and I was really, really happy with that. So I'm going to continue on this year, but the thing is, I'm only going to choose one series per month. Um, that's all I'm going to uh, expect for myself. I might, who knows, want to uh, pick up another series and marathon that one, but I will only actually choose one um, for my TBR. I'm not going to, you know, go, okay, I'll read two series this month. I'm going to choose one, and then I'll see where it takes me. I may want to go into another series. Who knows? So I think I can do the 5 to 10. I think I'll be really good. There's 12 months, and if I pick one every month, that'll be 12, and that'll be perfect. So the next one would be to read three classics. Every year, I want to read classics, and I never do. I am just not the type of person to want to pick up a classic. Though every, you know, every once in a while I get the urge, ooh yeah, I want to read that classic. Like, uh, last month I actually had an urge to read Sense and Sensibility, which I don't own. So, and I never picked it up. Because for some reason I wanted this really, really pretty cover, and I never picked it up. So, I don't know. I mean, I want to pick up classics. I feel really bad that I haven't even read any uh, since high school, and that was years ago. So, I mean, I own a few. I own Pride and Prejudice, Persuasion, uh, both by Jane Austen. I own Sc Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, I think... I owned more, but I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I own, like, the Arabian Nights uh, Barnes & Noble Leatherbound Edition which is a whole, um, tale of a, it's a whole, like, uh, series of, like, these short stories that has to do with, um, a classic, and the classic is A Thousand and One Nights, um, which is Shahrazad being married to this king, which, <laughs> he's not the f best king, I mean, you guys know from The Wrath of the Dawn if you've read it, um, that's also a retelling of it. The king marries and marries a woman every morning and kills her, or mar he marries her every day and kills her by the next. So Scheherazade uh, volunteers to become his wife, and the way to extend her life and her days with him is to tell him a story, and for him to keep wanting more. And she never actually finishes the story, I believe. She just continues or she'll continue the next night, or sometimes she'll even start a new one, and it'll just make him want more. So, and that was a really, really good one. And the, the Arabian Nights collection starts with Shahrazad, and it's all of her stories, and I believe it also ends, with, of course, with Shahrazad. So, I have that, and I love A Thousand and One Nights. I love that tale. I also own a, quite a few of them, um, like right there. And if you didn't know, um, A Tale of Aladdin, came from that. So, yeah, I mean, I love it. I want to actually start picking that up because I've read The Storyteller's Daughter, like I say this almost every video, by Cameron Doki, and it's fantastic, which I have to own. I keep telling myself I'm going to own that, and I never do. <laughs> oh, and now I own a book by her, which is um, Beauty Sleep. Yeah, it's in a bind up. Liz Braswell Snow, and Liz Braswell also wrote A Whole New World, which is like right up there, which is a retelling of Aladdin. And if you can't tell, the uh, Beauty Sleep is a retelling of Saving Beauty, and Snow is a retelling of Snow White. So, yeah, I mean, I, I own a book by Cameron Doki, but it's not the one I really loved. <coughs> but I'm hoping I really love that. So, yeah, where was I going with that? Yeah, I need to <laughs> read more classics. I do want to pick up the ones I own, and I want to pick up some more and hopefully read those as well, like Picture of Dorian Gray or Sense of Sensibility. I just want to immerse myself in those worlds, and because everyone else loves classics, or at least some classics, and I want to be able to say the same, or I want to at least have my own opinion about it. So, yeah. That is my reading resolutions. There's only one more resolution I want to discuss with you guys. And that is my channel. Um, 
I have one resolution that goes with my channel, and that is um, my videos. I actually want. I know I mentioned that I was going to uh, do two a week, Wednesdays and Fridays, and that happened for a while, and that never happened again. Um, maybe I'll do one on Wednesday, maybe I'll do one on Monday or Friday or stuff like that, and I, I have to stop that. I um, I can't do that. I thought I could, and then I realized that was just it was too much for me right now. Um, I think that just put a lot of pressure on me to, you know, put so many videos up, and um, sometimes I have like no video ideas. So what I'm going to do is I will have one video, one video a week at least. That's what I plan on doing. At least one video a week. Um, I might have more than one in one week. I might just have the one the next week. I, I don't know. But I know I just want to have at least one a week so I'm not gone for three weeks like I was. And I know I was, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. I um, I lost someone very dear to me. I loved her so much. And I wasn't in the mood to film. I, I didn't look the best. I couldn't be happy. And that was a couple weeks ago. And, yeah. I, I'm sorry that I didn't make videos. But I, I should have had some set aside but I, I didn't know it was going to happen. You never know when someone is going to pass away. It can be, you know, it was very sudden. And, yeah. That is the reason I was gone for so long. Um, but I'm going to try and have some in reserve. So when something like that does happen, I don't have to be filming. I can just upload it. And that way you'll have something from me. And I won't be gone for weeks at a time. So, yeah, that is all for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.